finishing up uh, this past year and uh, I guess at A&M and then coming out here and already, uh, already made a little move in the big leagues and you know it's it's like I said it's been a crazy year and you know just keep on looking for look forward to more. In three starts with the St. Louis Cardinals, Waka is 1-0 and still working to improve. And now, goodbye. Although the young righty pitched very well at the big league level, he was sent back to AAA when the Cardinals brought veteran Jake Westbrook off the disabled list. His time in St. Louis was short, but very useful. Just up there in the big leagues, I realize you just got to make pitches every pitch. I mean, there's no pitches that you can take off. and. You know, you just got to stay focused the whole time you're out there and, uh, you know, and just talking to those older guys, the veteran guys, and uh, seeing what they have to say about stuff. I mean, it's unbelievable knowledge that uh, I was just soaking in. So for now, Waka takes that knowledge back to AAA with the Memphis Redbirds. Despite having major league experience, his veteran teammates are still quick to remind him that he is still a rookie. They, they remind me all the time. I mean, I'm always doing uh, some of the dirty work that uh, nobody else wants to do. So, I mean, I understand that I got to pay my dues and uh, I mean, they had to do them as well. So, uh, you know, I just uh, accept it and, uh, you know, one day I'll be able to repay the favor, hopefully. <laughs> Waka says he still keeps in touch with many of his Aggie teammates and he does see some similarities with his new professional team and Aggieland. The fans uh, just so passionate about the game and, you know, I see that a lot with St. Louis fans as well. I mean, they're real passionate about the game and you know, uh, very similar.